Hey, are you a beginner or intermediate bass player that's looking to either get started or bust out of a rut? Well, today I'm going to show you five of my favorite books for beginners and intermediate bass players. What's good fam? Welcome to another video. But if we haven't met yet, my name is Ted and I talk bass. This channel is all about tips, tricks, and tutorials mostly tutorials for what I like to call the blue collar bass player. If you like that kind of content, consider subscribing. I drop videos every single week. Today's video is brought to you by the TED Talks Bass Merch Store located just below this video. Let's get into it, man. So I'm gonna show you five of my favorite books for beginners and intermediate bass players. Two of them I don't have on hand because in my packing and moving and stuff like that, I can't put my hands on them, so I'll have to show you on the screen. All of these books are really good, really accessible, and are really well put together for self-study, self-evaluation. So if you can't afford a teacher, or if you're just kind of going through the rabbit hole of YouTube and different courses and different things like that, these books will definitely help you out. Links to all of them will be in the description below. So coming in at number five, this is one that I don't have on hand. I can't put my hands on it right now, but I'll show you on the screen. This is Ultimate Beginner Bass Complete. It's the book, the DVD, and the CD by Dale Titus. Dale Titus actually has a pretty dope YouTube channel, and I'm gonna link that in the description box below as well. You should definitely check him out. A lot of good quality information. Now, this video is uh, was was done like in the 90s. So if you see Dale on his YouTube channel and you see him um, on the DVD, it's gonna look like two different people. But there's a lot of years in between, you know, now and then. So that's number five, Ultimate Beginner Bass by Dale Titus. Book, DVD, and CD. High production value. Coming in at number four is Walking Jazz Lines for Bass by Jay Hungerford. This is a great book. This book really helped me out in my first year of community college in Hayward, California. Uh, this is, I uh, got a great CD that comes along with it and the play alongs are really well produced with a real band. I know that's super important. You don't wanna necessarily feel like you're playing with a machine. So the, the CD is really well put together. This is very, very pattern based. You get these little, uh, these little patterns and you learn how to put these patterns into real songs. There's 20 standards in here. Uh, everything from Someday My Prince Will Come, Satin Doll, How High the Moon, uh, Ornithology, Just the Way You Look Tonight. Stuff that you are definitely going to see and hear on real gigs, real ensembles, real jam sessions. So um, definitely recommend checking out Walking Jazz Lines for Bass by Jay Hungerford. The next book on the list coming in at number three is Blues Bass by Ed Friedland. Um, Ed Friedland, the bass whisperer. Let me tell you, this guy has been around a long, long time. I'm not trying to call him old. I'm just saying the guy is, what I, I like to think about Ed as like the godfather of modern bass educational materials. This is put out by Hal Leonard, a trusted publisher. Ed Friedland's built a great reputation as a bassist and a bass educator. So um, check him out. I'll also leave a link to his YouTube channel as well. What I really dig about this book is that you've got really uh, lines that are written with stylistic integrity. You are going to see these lines all the time. They're standard. They're like must know, really practical lines. And so there's also set up much the same way as the Jay Hungerford book. It's got a bunch of standards that you can play along to as well. Um, and when I'm, I'm talking about standard blues songs, so there's things like uh, uh, Big Boss Man, Born Under a Bad Sign, Cross Cut Saw, Dying of Flow, and those songs, you know, those uh, songs are the basis for so many other songs. The blues period is the foundation for so much of the music that we listen to. So you're gonna get uh, the 12 bar blues, the shuffle, intros, turnarounds, endings, box shape patterns, um, a lot of good stuff in here. The CD is fantastic, really good material here. This book, this is one of my favorite books, definitely one that kind of stays on the stand 
uh, or at least in the library. So when I just want to pull it out and, uh, and, and go over something, Rumble Blues, Mardi Gras, New Orleans, standard, standard stuff. You need this book. All right, number two is another book. I don't have it on hand because my moving and packing and unpacking. But number two is Music Theory for the Bass Player by Ariana Cap. This book is very, very bass centric. Okay, it's it's uh, it's set up in a way that uh, where there are lines and patterns and shapes that are applicable to what bass players do all the time. Our instrument is very pattern based, so Ari's done a great job of formatting this book in such a way that is easy to grasp for the bass player. In addition to that, she does have a course that I, I think is a great companion piece to this. Now, although the links in the description are affiliate links, I do not have any monetary relationship with Ari. So uh, when you go over there and sign up for her course, that's her bread. Um, but I really think it's worth it. This is a really, really well put together package. Coming in at number one is... My man, Ed Friedland, this is The Bass Method by Hal Leonard. This is actually three books in one. The complete, uh, the complete edition contains books one, two, and three bound together. Um, there are three CDs that come with this, pl uh, played by real musicians, really great sounding, high production value on this stuff. Um, what I like about this, this method book is that it covers literally everything. Everything that a beginner or intermediate player would want or need. Starting from like musical symbols, basic, basic, basic rhythms, quarter notes, whole notes, half notes, um, all the way up to uh, uh, syncopated rhythms, 16th notes, and, and, and more uh, intricate stuff. This is solid material solid material um, and you can it's easy to follow for a beginner or e intermediate player you get this you put it on your stand you start at the beginning take your time you do you know uh, you do two or three exercises a day a week if, if, if you know if that's what you need to do and then you move on right you don't burn through this stuff you just Take your time, use it as a supplement while you're listening and learning songs by ear and all that stuff. There's standard notation and tab in here, which I think will really help out with your reading. Reading music is a valuable skill to have. So that's my absolute favorite book for beginner and intermediate players is the Hal Leonard Bass Method book by Ed Friedland, uh, the complete edition. So you got book one, book two, book three, all in one uh one one book three cds really well produced get this put it on your stand keep it in your library you won't regret it all right so hey thanks so much for watching if you're looking for more bass tutorials click that playlist right there the one the video down here is one that youtube thinks you might like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss a groove i'll see you next time peace two fingers